Jeff and Jeremy in the morning. We'll be giving away $50 to go to Smart and Final here in a little bit. Coming up in about 40 minutes, 35, something like that. Uh, hang on for that. We had a lot of people writing in about a lot of different stuff that we've been talking about over the cla- the past hour. Uh, Classy John from Edna's writes in. He says, hey, I'm there with Jeff, man. Taquitos for Thanksgiving. I hate everything. Yeah, that's just the most overrated food on the planet is Thanksgiving food. This is a, I think this is this the SurfNet community. Now, th- th- you got to realize Suzanne was in charge. Of when you say this. this, when you say this, people think that's how we all feel. That is not true. I, 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 this is one of my favorite meals of the year. I love garbage, cheap food. I love you understand this that, right? food. Like the reason why the, 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 <laughs> the traditional dishes that we have, um, well, I mean, are, you know, are, stuffing are, is breadcrumbs. Sure. Right. No, this is what I'm saying is this but you is spruce the it up. garbage, cheapest food that you can, that you can have. That's the whole premise of it. You're, Cause you're going to feed many people. So how can you feed many people for as little money as possible? Traditional Thanksgiving dinner. So it's garbage food. Turkey is not like something that is is super duper expensive. Um, it serves massive amounts of people, and uh, the other stuff. I mean, come on, a can of uh, oh cream of mushroom soup and some green beans and some uh, onion rings, some crispy onions. And that's the green bean casserole. Oh God, we're not. <sighs> but nobody does that anymore. What? Nobody does green bean casserole? I, I don't know. Do they? I, we're not doing it. My mom's like, you're the only one that would eat it. I'm like, no, it's okay. I love green beans, but I don't have to have the green bean casserole. You can make the green bean casserole anytime. It's simple. It's easy. This I is got, what we have so far on the show. I need to text my wife because she's packing the car. Um, sorry. This is what we have so far on the SurfNet Communications poll question, which is the worst Thanksgiving side dish. Uh, right now, mystery casserole is leading the way. And this is where mystery casserole comes from, okay? Every family has that one person who's like oh you know what i make a great fill in the blank casserole i will bring it to thanksgiving nobody knows what's in that casserole nobody nobody knows except for the person that that made it i love that and casserole. that person comes around and they're like oh what'd you think of the casserole and nobody has an answer because nobody's had nobody's been brave enough to try mystery casserole Sometimes there could be nuts in it. Sometimes there could be oranges in it. We <laughs> oh, don't stop. Know. That would be awful, but it's worth the gamble. No, it's Maybe not. you find something that is the best thing on the table. you got to give it a shot, man. You play the lotto. Why wouldn't you try the casserole? Because it's casserole lotto. Lotto because casserole. Because I look at the context of the big picture, and I see garbage dish one, garbage dish two, garbage dish three, garbage dish four, and I go drill down all the way to garbage dish six. I'm like, I have nothing but five garbage options here. The sixth one's not going to be any good. So I, I'm off. I'm out. Give me as much uh, summer sausage and Ritz crackers as you can during the football games, and uh, I'll get a tidy little buzz on, and then we'll call it good. Come on. It's garbage. Let's be honest. The worst thing on the table is the is the cranberry sauce. Who puts that on anything? That might be the best thing. Oh, uh, God. Uh, come uh, on. Yeah. It's cranberries. It's sour tarts. It's- Don't get me wrong. Just because I'm saying it might be the best thing on the table doesn't mean that it's good. This is a garbage spread that you put out on Thanksgiving. It just is. I'm well, sorry. It's, well, it's because you don't, you just. What? You just, you just haven't been treated right. I mean, there's ham, better now, ways to do it. Sometimes, I don't know how. but You ever ha- put bacon in your stuffing? Ham will sometimes work its way into the roster. On Thanksgiving, and when that happens, you're happy. I'm all in. You like happy. I you're you're happy. I love. Do him. you like? Um, have you ever tried uh, like bacon? It's not. It's like real bacon, and it's little strips, almost like a bigger than a bacon bit, twice the size. You throw that in with your stuffing. Yeah, I can see. That's that. a game changer. I, I can see that. That is that a game changer. Good. But I mean, I mean, you got to use a lot of butter taking, in your. You're taking bread crumbs and you're adding bacon to them. That's what's a, that's what makes it a game changer. Mmm, yum. When else have I ever sat down to a heap and helping of bread crumbs and bacon? Well, no, you put that's gravy on saying. it, and it's got celery and onions and sea and thyme and rosemary and all these different seasonings inside of it that make it good. We try so hard, and then it's baked to make garbage food good tomorrow. <laughs> Cameron, what do you think? What's the worst thing on the table? Mashed potatoes. Oh, that's right. You don't like them. I'm with you potatoes. on that as well. I'm not big on the uh, sweet potatoes. So far, not What getting, kind of potato do you like? Because I know you like potatoes, Jeff. Not getting, What do you like? Baked, baked, baked potatoes? Baked potatoes. Oh. So baked far, potatoes are top tier. Yeah. 
Uh, so far, getting not getting votes on the uh, poll is mash, mashed potatoes, sweet potatoes, or green bean casserole. Both, all, right. all three of those are not registering on the uh, SurfNet Communications poll question right now. Cranberry sauce, mystery casserole, Mr. Castle, mystery casserole, leading the way with sixty percent of the vote, and <laughs> stuffing, stuffing getting a nod uh, for twenty percent of the vote. You can, uh, we encourage you to uh, vote. I know we've asked you to vote a lot this month. Um, <laughs> What's one more? Actually, one. We've asked you to vote one more time than normal. Well, let's not month. call it vote then. Let's call it select your choice. Yes, yes. But this is actually something that you can have an effect on the outcome of. All right. <laughs> Go to kzoz dot com and uh, select your choice. There you go. Aaron Wells, give him a little props to that. You know how nursing Aaron got his name, right? I was not here the day it happened, but I know that he called in and he was talking about how people are narcissistic, and so you nicknamed him Narcy Aaron. No, that's what he told me. No, oh, he's a liar. We though. were talking about maybe she's lying. Aaron. We were talking about selfies. And he said, he said, you know, instead of um, calling it a selfie, maybe we should call it a narcissist. Oh, that's right. Okay. Because the people that take selfies are super narcissistic. Well, that's what he, okay. I and, that's, that and, and that's, uh, but you, you'd left the picture part out. I left the most important yes. part out, the selfie. Yes. So uh, for a long time, we tried to dub uh, selfies narcissists, and it just didn't stick. And that's, uh, I mean, I don't know if we have to worry about it too much. What's the last selfie you took there, uh Cameron, um, I don't know, maybe like a month or so ago. Yeah. Why do, do you have any selfies on your phone, Jeff? Why'd you take it? I seriously doubt it. Like sometimes my son will be like, "Let's take a selfie," and I'll, like, I'll oblige him. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, you're telling me right now your four year old says, "Let's take a selfie." Yeah, I know because he he <laughs> sees it like he sees it in pop culture or something like that. Yeah. You know? Maybe it's some show is it, that if is, you take that a picture, watching. but a selfie is a selfie. Like if you take a picture with someone else, is that a selfie, or is a selfie just if you take a picture of yourself by yourself? That's a very good question. Because if you're taking a picture with you and someone else, I don't think that's a selfie. That's just getting a shot. That's just that's not a selfie because a selfie is you're selfless. I have, no, you're, I have a you're question. You're taking a picture of yourself. That's what I meant to say. I have a question for you, um, and the question for you is. What's with the uh, pose shot on your uh, Instagram? Is it Instagram? Maybe it's Facebook. There's some, one of the profile pictures that you have. It's very contemplative. Like you're sitting there with a serious look in your face and you've got your glasses on. Oh, you're talking about that one? That was the first picture? No, I, no oh. an- another one. There's a, Maybe it's your Facebook page. Is that one? Oh, no, it's his Instagram, the one with the sunglasses. No, not the sunglasses. I thought that I ran across one the other day. That was oh my uh, wife posted a picture of me and George on my birthday. No, that wasn't it. Oh, that wasn't it. I don't know what you're talking. Um, about. it's it's very. Is it not your Facebook page? I don't know. I don't know. You'll have to find is it. Your let Facebook me know. is your Facebook page different than your? Tell me what the picture looks like, or you can't remember. You're wearing. Um, you're sitting there and you're looking all serious into the camera. I, it reminds me of the shot on Parks and Rec where Tom Haverford's always holding the coffee cup and he's looking off into the distance. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's, hold on a second. No, I, I don't know how to work this. How did I get to here? How do I get to, how do I it get to? It is hilarious. Oh I saw it, the, I ran across it the other day and I was like, what the hell is he doing here? How do you look at the photos you see? I don't know. Instagram, they keep changing stuff, and then I don't know how to look at photos that no, I've been no, tagged you in. A, you have the 12th man one um, on your on your Facebook page. I don't know where I saw it. No, maybe, you saw it on Instagram. I know exactly what you saw. You Cameron, how do you look at the pictures you've been tagged in now that they changed the format? Um, It should be under your pictures. Oh, and here it is. It, it'll be the button on the right. Is it this one right here? Yes. Uh, George is right next okay, to me. Yeah, My but, wife tagged me in that that's photo. Not, no, that's not it. Actually, that's just the picture where you're doing the same thing. Because the one I saw was in color. So uh, Was it that one? No. Okay. I don't know what you would have saw. I never post pictures of myself. She was just on my birthday. She, but George, my is bulldog, it possible that has his own Instagram. The dog out of the picture? No. I don't know what's wrong with this one, though. That's a cute dog. That's a big dog. Yeah, and by the way, I don't post these. I send them to my wife. And with a little funny caption or a joke, and then you know, then she'll go and post them. I'm like, quit doing that. They're not very uh, candid. Like I, I picture that that's not well. A selfie is a pose. That's not one take. I'm sure there's like twenty. But it's not a selfie if you 20. have your dog in the photo. <laughs> but we just cleared that up. If there's somebody else in the photo, it's not a selfie. 
here's the thing with that, okay, is you, when you ask somebody else to be in the photo, you say, hey, you want to take a picture? They have to agree to it. When you're just taking a picture with your dog, it's like, yeah, he agrees. Look what I'm proud of. It, that's why he's sitting there. He likes he likes getting his picture taken. Okay. I got to find this picture. I think you've taken it down. In some way, shape, or form, you've taken it down. It was the funniest thing I've ever seen. All right. Well, you go find that, would you? When we'll come back, we're going to give away $50 to go to Smart and Final. He takes his narcissist very serious. And the turkey day. Everybody's having fun. we got a $50 gift card right now to Smart and Final. We'll call it your, your Thanksgiving stimulus, right? I mean, it's 50 bucks. That could buy a whole meal, save time and money this Thanksgiving with Smart and Final. Now, that's something to be thankful for. Okay, so this iconic American product sold 50,000 units in its first year of production in the 20s. Okay, 50,000 units in the 20s. Today, there's still roughly 250,000 of them in use in the United States. We need All right, you, let's go back. We here. need you to tell us what it is. So in its first year, when it was... It was introduced, introduced in the 20s. to the market. It was introduced there in the 20s. Go. It was introduced in the 20s, and it sold 50,000 units. Today, there's still... 250,000 of them operational. And that's a guesstimate. Around 250,000 of them operational in the United States. And introduced in the 20s, probably was very popular, probably through the 30s, 40s, and 50s, I'm guessing. Mm-hmm. Because there's still 250,000 about. At the height of their prop- popularity, there was about 750,000 of them uh, in use in the United States. Now, there's about 250,000 of them that are still used. 805-543-3693 the numbers to get through. This is a household product, did you say? No. You didn't specify? No. I don't know why I was thinking Just an household. American product. Okay, this is an American product. A product that's American made, damn it. One of the last. Do you know what that is, young and Cameron? I, I Do you think... know what an American made product is? Something made in America? Have you heard of that? I know everything I... you probably have comes from China. I, I, I think uh, um, I think it'd be better to say it's American design. Yes, a lot of things are American designed and then produ- produced in China because. But this is- was before China. This was. This is where, these were actually made in the United States of America, and I would say any new ones that are being made, although I don't think the market is that um, demanding right now. But any new ones that are being made, I would. It, it's fair to say are not being made in, in the United in States. The United States. Think- I, I I would I would be very surprised. If they were. Hi, what's your name? Hello, are you Hello? there? Yes, your name, sir. David. Hello, David. This is Jeff and Jeremy and Cameron. And um, we're talking about a product that was invented and produced in the United States in the 20s. So, uh, 50 million? No, 50,000. Oh, 50,000. 50,000 units in its first year of production. Um, it, there's about 250,000 of them still operational today in the United States. Hmm. And Jeff says they still make these, but it's probably not in no, the United I, States. No, I don't know. I said if they still make them, they're probably not made in the United States. Have you ever used one of these? Yes. Have, do you own, have you ever owned one of these? No. Okay. 805-543-3693. It's for a $50 gift card to Smart and Final. Okay, David, what do you got? Uh, I don't know if Model T Ford, but that's not the right answer because, oh, well, I'm screwed. <laughs> You don't think there's 250,000 of them still in operation in the United States? No. And they're, not, they're not producing them overseas right now? No. All right. And I don't know that they're producing them still overseas. Does it have anything to do, I'm going to show you this, with that? Nope. Okay. Well, it's not I that. told you what it was. You weren't listening because you were running your mouth. Uh, Cameron, you know, you know what it is, right? I honestly... Can, I'm having a hard time hearing what you guys. Oh, are maybe saying. Jeremy was running his mouth lo- loudly. I no. said it like four times before we went on. I, I didn't hear you say it. Oh, okay. No, well, this is. I think that was in your head. I don't this think makes you it even. Said it. No, because he kept asking me. And but I, he's I, a worse I, listener than I am. I finally had to tell him We've like three that. times, and, but you were still running your mouth. Uh, hi, what is your name? Hi, I'm Ian. Ian. Go ahead, Ian. Yep. All right. So we know it's. Uh, Originally made in the 20s, 50,000. They're still in production today, maybe? No, they're not in production. They might be in production anymore, but there's 250,000. I said maybe. 250,000 of them 
are, are still around. If you don't know what the answer is, I would not give facts. I mean, you got to go get a job with CNN or NBC if you're going to do that. I'm just repeating what you said. <laughs> hey, careful taking stabs. There's still about 250,000 of these in circulation yeah. today. All right. What do you got, bud? Uh, my guess. Blink- hmm. Your phone keeps cutting out. Say it again. Slinkies? Slinkies. Uh, good guess. I'm, it is incorrect, though. That's a really good guess because you would think now that the Slinky is definitely manufactured overseas and not manufactured in the United States of America. Right. Uh, hi, good morning. What is your name? Is he on a boat? Yeah, who is this? Hello? What is your name? Michelle, sorry. I, went through, I thought I was going to hang up. <laughs> well, we, we, said, we said hello. Are you on a boat? No. Oh, we thought we heard a, a big boat horn. Oh, no, I, I'm, I'm driving, and I hit those little lines on the side of the road. <laughs> All right, what do you think uh, it is? That, what do you think it is? You and my wife. <laughs> I, think, <laughs> I think it's a bus. A bus? Yeah. Uh, good guess. That's not correct, though. Sorry. Good guess. Can I ask a question that will help? Is it a household item? You already asked that question, and it's still no. You didn't say if it was or it wasn't. You'd ask me. All right. You'd ask me. I said not no. On the air. Not you, on the air, I didn't. And then you, you asked so me if, if I had one at my house, and I said no. Hello, are you there? Oh. Yes, I am. What is your name? Lance. All right, Lance. Apparently, I'm a bad listener. I'm trying to help you out, though. What's up? Jeff doesn't want to give any clues, but... Uh, I've given if- lots of clues. These are, they made 50,000 of them in the, in the 20s. Uh, they reached their height of popularity in the 50s at 750,000. And now there's about maybe 250,000 of them uh, in existence still today. It was invented in the 20s? It was invented and sold in the 20s. Right. In the 20s, they sold their, 50, uh, their first 50,000 units. What do you got, bud? In the first year. I got, um, for me? Yeah. Uh, two bucks. That is correct. Good job. Oh, nice. Are you a damn moron? What? Every bar you go into has a jukebox in it. Yes, they're still being made today. You said they might be made today. Yes, they're still being made today. Every bar has one. It's they just now have, they're now they, they're digital. They still have they still have jukeboxes though? Yes. I mean the last time I've been in a bar with a jukebox was probably over a decade ago. No, bull- the last jukebox I remember was at the old Marty's what on Hygera. No. no. Where's the last jukebox? You've There's seen? one at McCarthy's. There's one at almost every bar. Uh, what's the last bar you went to? Hence the two hundred and fifty thousand that are still in existence. Today, yeah. What's, what's what's the last bar you went to? Sweet Springs. Yeah, they have one there. Do they have it's one? It's digital. Yeah, they do. Okay. Yeah, th- a digital. lot of them are digital now. You can log in with an app, and you can use your and you can pay right from your phone and play music. You remember we've done that. That's we've done it fun. on the show before. We've we've done it down there when on St. Patrick's Day when Steve was down there and we played like uh, that, yeah that was over a decade ago. No, well it was a long time ago. I can't remember what it was, but all right. Well, you're a winner. You got fifty dollars. There's your stimulus package for Thanksgiving from Smart and Final. Okay, sweet. That's my favorite store. All, all right. right, me too. Uh, they don't sell jukeboxes. Hey, but thanks a lot. Thanks, good. Happy Thanksgiving, guys. Happy Thanksgiving to you, too. I'm surprised they don't sell jukeboxes because they sell pretty much everything else, but today is jukebox day. Mm-hmm. Um, so Jeremy has a comprehensive list of of booze establishments that have jukeboxes. I would say that you would be able to go play them today, but you can't go I to mean, those places. I mean, most bars do. I mean, not every bar, especially around here, but I mean, um, I, I'd have to think about it. I know Sweet Springs does. Most of the taverns are dive bars. You said though. McCarthy's does? Oh, yeah, they've had one forever. It's right there when you walk in, uh, right behind the pool table. Or, is it not a pool table? Oh, yeah, they're right putting the Johnny Cash on it. Yeah, but now it's digital. Do they have the thing? And the last time I remember using a jukebox, and I thought this was this kind of, I thought it was cool in the moment, but then it ruined me on the jukebox because the jukebox should be not structured in this fashion but in order to get more money uh, uh, from you they gave you the opportunity to skip the line to skip the queue yeah and if you wanted to really hear your song you could pay a premium and it was cut, next. and cut in line it was like the fast pass but worse than the fast pass cuz the fast pass actually has some structure to it this you're just straight up pissing people off cuz you're richer than them inside of a bar it's brilliant if it's, you think about it from the engineers at the, at the jukebox because as people drink they get more yep. careless they want to hear their song now right 
And no, yeah, like, like I've got to leave in 30 minutes. I want to hear this song before I leave. I'm going to pay a premium to, to play it. But the problem with this is it creates classism inside of a bar, Jeremy. Like mm. uh, the, uh, the, the upper class, the middle class, the, and the lower class. The liberal elites come in uh, swinging their dollars around. Next thing you know, it's like French laundry. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, uh, you know, I hate Gavin to tell Newsom you. comes walking in without a mask on. He's, he's I hate to tell you, there's conservative elites too that'll do the same thing. He's 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 peeling off hundreds like T Pain at a strip club. Yeah, it's and just the like, the liberal like, elites listen to T Pain. The conservative <laughs> elites listen to. <laughs> Country. I can't I'm think of the saying. damn guy's name that sings Ring of Fire, but whatever. I'm just saying that. Johnny Cash. I used to be a big fan of the jukebox. I used to like to put the money in and then sit around and wait and see how popular the jukebox was. Does like, Cameron was, it, I, was 20, I going to be nine songs in or was I going to be twenty songs in? Have you ever have you ever played a jukebox, Cameron? Have I ever played like used a jukebox? Yeah, you can't really yeah. play it. Yeah, you play the jukebox. I mean, you, you play a song on it. No, it's not a musical instrument. You no, you don't in. play it like that. But you pl- you don't you also don't blow into a Nintendo. Have you but ever, you play it? Have you ever, sometimes you blow it? You don't play. You play an arcade game, right? Have you ever patronized? You don't blow it. Have you ever patronized the jukebox? Is you don't a, bang it. I believe the question should have. You're been. not blowing or banging a video game, but Do you, you play you ever it. Play Just like you jukebox. play the jukebox. You don't. There's nothing. You play songs on. There's it. That's called to playing play. the jukebox. No, you 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 patronize a jukebox. <laughs> yeah, everybody. Hey, have you patronized the jukebox today? You exactly. jackass. <laughs> Subscribe to the Jeff and Jeremy podcast now on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Google, and YouTube. It's your Central Coast commute-friendly podcast.